everyone and welcome to Flatlanders RV Travels. Today we are going to take a tour of Sugar Bottom Campground which is located on the shores of Coralville Lake. Coralville Lake is located in the Iowa River Valley just north of Iowa City. The road leading back into the campground in the day use area is very curvy and very hilly so you just want to take it easy going up and down the hills and around the curves. We're just going to go off to the right here um, and go down to the day use area to show you guys. If you were to continue straight, the campground was um, entrance is just up a little bit. Anyway, we're going to go down and show you the day use area, which offers a large group picnic area with drinking water, electricity, also includes uh, flush toilets, playground, beach, disc golf, and mountain bike trails. On the left hand side is the disc golf which offers 18 partially wooded and open holes. There's also mountain bike trails that offers uh, beginner to expert trails. And before we actually um, get to the campground tour, we're just going to take this path um, from the day use area over to the uh, campground and it'll bring you out by where the um, uh, full hookups campsites are at. Before entering the campgrounds here, you'll have to stop here and check in before heading on to your site. And next I'm going to show you there are two uh, group camping areas. Um, this one is farther in the back. It's a little big area. It's uh, site numbers A215 through C243. And I'm going to have to apologize um, now for the shakiness and whatnot. Um, just learning on how to um, film on my e-bike. As you can see off in the distance um, on the left, there is the other group camping section. There's also a playground. And on the left hand side, there is uh, the shower house. And we're going to make our way back to the main street here and um, continue on to the next section. And this is going to be sites 8 through 51. In this particular section, um, this is quite a bit of a hill here coming down into this area. Um, some of these sites on the right hand side are a little unlevel. Site 30 and 31 here have a pretty good view of the lake. And then we're going to make our way back up the hill and our site's right there. We're going to come up to the end of the street and you're going to be able to see the rooftop of the shower house straight ahead and we're going to go to the right and we're going to be coming up into this next section which in my opinion is one of the prettiest areas in the park uh, not a lot of sites down here it's a little less crowded and congested uh, the sites down here on the uh, water have a pretty good view. And we're just going to make our way back up to the main area and there's firewood hut right there on the left and we're going to um, next 
drive through the dump station area. And then you're going to see there is the dumpsters and then there's um, the dump station and then in the middle of the two dump stations is where you can get the fresh water. And there's also recycling there on the left. Okay, this next section is sites 52 through 63. These are 50 amp and water hookup. And these sites run about $24 a night. If you have the uh, Senior America the Beautiful Pass, you can get that for half price for $12 a night. So Sugar Bottom Campground offers 232 campsites. 12 of those campsites are um, full hookups with water and sewer and electric and we're going to go check out those next. And off on the left hand side there is another shower house. So these sites 300 through 311 are the full hookup sites. These full hookup sites are um, $26 per night, but if you have the Senior America Beautiful Pass, it is $13 a night. And we're just going to show you the playground next before moving on to the next section. I just want to apologize again um, for the shakiness and hopefully I don't get your vertigo um, going. Um, it, it is kind of uh, challenging to figure this thing out with putting the GoPro on the handlebars of my e-bike. Uh, hopefully I will get better at it or figure out a better way on how to do the campground tours on the bike. I just want to note that the uh, 30 amp electric only sites are $20. Again, if you had the Senior America Beautiful Pass, that would be $10 uh, per night. And the 50 amp electric only sites are $22. And again, with the America the Beautiful Pass, it would be uh, $11. So we're going to go to the top of the hill up here and then turn left. If you continue straight, that would take you down towards the lake. You're going to see the sh uh, another shower house on the right hand side there. Um, as we go in this area, this campground was very tough to do a tour. Um, it is a very big campground. There's um, over 200 sites here and it was just kind of confusing the way they had it laid out. Uh, so hopefully you can kind of get an idea of what the campground is like and I tried to stick site numbers in um, whenever possible so you can kind of get an idea. It was just too much to try and label every campsite um, with their, their site number. And we are basically going down that same uh, road, just going the opposite directions so you can get a better idea of the sites that are on the left hand side. This next area, you're going to look off to the left and you're going to see the entrance of that uh, path that we took at the beginning of the video um, that took you over to the day use area. And again, there's another shower house on the right hand side there. There are a total of five shower houses in this park.
This next section, um, I really like this section. Uh, there are some sites that have shade on them and then there's some, uh, looks to me like newer campsite that have new concrete pads um, for your trailer to park on. But however, there are no trees on some of these sites down here, which I think could get quite hot in the middle of the summer. This next area is um, relatively flat. It's a nice shady area. Um, it seemed to me like a little congested and I'm not sure if that's just because we were there on a 4th of July weekend, um, but it just seems like there's a lot more people around. So if you're kind of wanting privacy, this particular area wouldn't be the area to go in. The sites, however, are good size, so it's not like you're on top of uh, one another either. This campground is open May 1st to September 30th. Reservations can be made six months in advance of the arrival date. To make your reservations, you just go to uh, recreation.gov. The sites coming up here on the right hand side, starting with site 159, I think these are one of uh, some of the best campsites. You have the lake view and you do have shade. We are making our way back onto the main street. Uh, their tent sites are on the right hand side, which have fantastic views of the lake. We're going to go to the left here and uh, these sites on the right hand side are back in sites. They have a fantastic view of the lake. However, there are no trees, so you don't have a lot of shade. So it's a trade off of view or the shade. As you can see, they have plenty of parking for the beach area or just extra parking for your boat if um, you're there with your camper and boat and they don't um, can't both fit on the same campsite, so you can bring it down here. They also have a very nice boat launch area and we'll show you that. And there are four campsites along this um, road that goes along the lake area. Very nice campsite, however, no shade. So summertime, I feel like it could get very hot, very warm down in this area. Here's a little better view of the camping um, primitive campsites for the tents on the left hand side. And we're going to um, kind of turn around up here and head back down so you can kind of get a different view. Um, of the campsites and the boat launch and also take you down by the beach area. We really like this park. Um, we have gone there a couple times now. Uh, cell phone service for AT&T is pretty good. Verizon is, um, is okay. I think AT&T does a little bit better. And next here, we're going to show you the beach area. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications so you're notified when our next video is released. They do sell firewood uh, at the campground. It's uh, self-serve. 
I think it was like five dollars for six pieces and you just put it in that gray box. I think we're going to close out the video here with the um, tour of the bathrooms which I almost forgot to include. Uh, typical um, bathrooms, they were fairly clean, um, not too bad. I, if I had to, I would shower in them. Again, don't forget to do all three things, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And for all those subscribers that have already subscribed to our channel, well, thank you for the su support. We really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, happy camping.